Greetings, hello, and welcome everyone. Welcome to Dev Chatter. My name is Brendan. This channel's Dev Chatter, uh, and uh, we are here to have some fun. That is our main goal. Uh, write some stuff together. We work on some interesting projects every once in a while. Uh, but the main thing that we want to do is, you know, have have some fun doing some, you know, live coding. So, uh, I want to talk to you about a couple of projects that we have going. Uh, I've got a side project that I started working on that's kind of an interesting one that I think people might want to hear about. Uh, so I'm at least going to mention it. Uh, I put in the stream title uh, what I think we're going to be doing today, but I'm not 100% on that. We could go another route. Uh, so let's let's chat about that. Uh, so, first things first, uh, our main project that we've been working on lately on the stream is our uh, DevStreams project, and uh, in that, what we are doing is we are building a community website, and the goal of said community website is to, um, hang on one second while I navigate to some stuff there we go um where are we we're in here um i cannot spell uh can i just run it from here or do i actually need to be in the other project um nope so we're gonna say run watch dash dash project and it's gonna be the dev chatter dev streams web project And let's actually mention the project file, which is that one. Okay, that should work. That'll get our site up and running. Uh, greetings, welcome everyone. Uh, Chef, hello, hello. Um, and uh, SNB, greetings, greetings. Uh, from Indy, awesome. Uh, okay, website should be going. Let's take a look at it. Um, hang on, what was it running on, 5,000? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I haven't messed with the certificate yet. Good. All right. So this is the community website that we've been building. I want to talk to you a little bit about it. So um, here on the stream, we like to work on projects for the most part that other people can contribute to. So everything we do here on the stream is posted up to GitHub at github.com slash dev chatter, including this project, which is right here. Uh, we have had some people contribute to the project. Uh, and uh, we do thank anybody, you know, regardless of how small the contribution is, because uh, we really do like having uh, other people working on it. Uh, we, we like working on stuff, but we'd much rather build community than, than just do our own thing. Uh, speaking of community, that is actually the intention of this website. Um, what we are building is a site that is designed to be a place for you to find out information about live coding streams. There are a lot of us now. And the goal is that if you were someone that came here, you might want to see what channels are live now so you could just watch something. Again, you could go to Twitch and find that. So that's not our, our you know, value selling point here. Uh, what we want to do instead is make it so that you can find things that are happening in the future. So maybe you say, hey, what's going to happen? What's going on later today? So right now, the only the only stream that we've got listed that happens today is, is mine. That's right here. Uh, this is obviously not how we're intending the display to be long term, but the data is coming back, and that's what's important for now. So uh, it knows about my stream. The reason that's the only one that comes back is that's the only one that we actually have a schedule in the data on the system for. Uh, so if we take a look at that, you can actually go to uh, the details of this channel, and you can see that the regular schedule is here. Uh, and you can see the next group of streams that are coming up. So again, uh, we want to adjust the display of this stuff, but the data is there. I mean, that data is not there, but you get the point. Uh, next thing, so we, we do pull the streams and other stuff. So we're almost to the point where I would be willing to say, hey, let's push this up live and use it. Um, so we're very, very close to that. We have a couple of things that we still need to do. Uh, one of those things, because this page has to ask Twitch a bunch of stuff, we want to cache that. So if someone's navigating around on the site, we don't want to do a bunch of extra calls to Twitch. So we're going to do as few as possible. Uh, so uh, we are caching the information that we send up there. That's actually the task that we're going to wrap up here today, uh, assuming we work on this. <laughs> Ed, uh, <laughs> coming in with a Twitch Prime sub. Uh, yes, it has been way too long. Uh, that is absolutely correct. Um, 
and uh, welcome. I, I need to keep saying hi to everybody that's showing up. Uh, Revo, uh, which I'm guessing that's pronounced Revo. Uh, welcome, uh, person from Denmark. Greetings. Uh, glad to have you here. Am I unscrewing or screwing this thing? When I was moving the armrest, I noticed there was a screw loose in the armrest of my chair, so... But it's upside down, so I was accidentally unscrewing it instead of screwing it. Well, that was silly. Uh, who else is here? Prototype! Uh, greetings, Prototype. Welcome. Uh, stool Penner. Hello, hello. And obviously, hi. And, uh, S&B. Yep, yep, yep. Hi hype in the chat. Uh, Ed now has a really nice set of badges there, because he has both a sword and, and an egg. Uh... Okay, so this is the project we were working on. Uh, if anyone here follows me on Twitter, uh, you will have noticed that I mentioned an interesting thing. So, uh, a friend of mine, uh, who I act funny enough, I, I know him through Twitch, because uh, he watched some of the same streamers I did for a little while. Uh, he is working on an interesting project, which I'm going to tell all you about because it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I found out, interestingly, I found out recently that his name is also Brendan, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> always nice when I find other Brendans, because I'm like, there aren't that many of us. Um, I mean, not that there are, like, none of us, but, uh, it's not a super common name, so when you run into the other Brendans, you're like, hey, cool, it's another Brendan. Uh, so I'm gonna actually toss his, uh, stream up on the screen so you can all see it. Um, because ah! I really like the stuff that he's working on, um. So first off, we're going to drag this one over. This actually just mine, obviously. But now we're going to head over to his. Um, so this is his stream, uh, and I'm not going to play the audio or anything like that. Uh, but he does an interesting thing. Um, he is actually working on a mod for uh, what is now an over 20-year-old, uh, well, game. Uh, he's not working on the 20-year-old copy. He's working on the more recent one. Hey, Katrina, welcome. Greetings. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice set of, uh, of emotes there, Ed. Uh, so he's working on this project. It's actually really cool. It's a massive mod to Final Fantasy VII. Uh, so they're redoing all of the, all the models and everything like that, so you can actually see, like, uh, it's very small tile here. Uh, this is muted, right? I hope this is muted. Okay. Um, so... Uh, on his stream he was working on stuff, so you can see he's like building out the walls for rooms and things like that, and that's actually the layer that, that, that deals with things, so they're redoing the models on stuff, so it's a very cool stream where they're basically updating all the old stuff. Uh, so very, very cool stuff that, uh, that he's building here. Uh, so big, big fan of what he's doing, so I figured I'd mention that. Um, I've been watching, uh, his streams for a while. Uh, and it's it's cool stuff, but I was working on an interesting side project that he actually suggested to me. So I want to show you something kind of cool. In his starting part here, you'll notice that he has uh, the color purple is on that is on that opening scene there. But let me jump us ahead a little bit. Okay, and now it's black. So this is the cool thing that I want to show you here. Is it changed to black? It's kind of hard to see um, someone here in his chat, whoops, I zoomed in too much, typed in, uh, you know, number sign followed by the word black. And he basically, that's that's his command to change the color of the, of the scene on his streams. So it's a really neat concept. Uh, does anyone change it again? Let me see if anyone changes it again. Might be that no one changes it. No, no one changed it. Okay. Uh, so either way, so it's it's a cool concept, and as you all know, I really like things where there's stream act, uh, interactivity. Yeah, uh, so funny enough, Ed, I was thinking about doing a similar effect, but doing it, I, I know how his is implemented, and I was going to do it a different way. Um, but along those lines, I'm going to show you something else that I was working on, uh, because it's cool. So give me one second while I open that up, and I'm going to open up... Whoop, Oh, uh, wow, that messes up the screen there when I do that. Uh, so I'm going to show you all an interesting program that you may or may not know about. Uh, so this is a program called Cheat Engine. And you might think, oh, yeah, that's designed for, like, cheating in games. Uh, which is technically true, but that's not really why it's interesting for developers. 
Uh, so for all of us, this has some additional cool factors. Um, and I am going to need to mess with my audio to make sure this game audio doesn't play because I will get in trouble if it does. So there we go. Game audio is off because I, I do not want to deal with having to, you know, have rights to have game music playing. Um, I'm not doing a gaming stream here, so I don't, I don't even think I can get away with that. Um, who knows? Either way, I, I muted the audio here. Uh, Code and Karma, yes, we are talking about uh, manipulating memory. Uh, you are absolutely correct. So, if anyone here has heard of a game called Final Fantasy VII, uh, that's the game that Suna Mods is modding. Now, this game has an interesting thing that I want to talk to you all about um, that's kind of cool. Uh, I wanted to mention it to you because I... Uh, so, Suna Mods, who, uh, well, Suna Mix, who's the guy that was that, that's doing that mod, uh, made a suggestion to me. Uh, he suggested that I uh, make an interesting change to this game. Uh, so, this is the game. Now, it has sort of an infamous feature here. Uh, r really is infamous, in that in the game, they actually just gave you full control over the colors that you wanted for the backgrounds. So if I want it to be white in that upper corner, congratulations, the windows now have white in that upper corner. Uh, if I want this one to be, you know, this color here, then I can do that. Now, throughout the game, they are this color. And, and like, that doesn't really look that bad because they kind of blend the colors. So you can actually find a lot of styles that that are not the ugliest thing in the world. Now, this isn't this isn't great, but it could certainly be a lot worse than, than what I just put together here. Um, the trick is this. Uh, if someone's playing this game on the stream, it would be really cool if the chat had control over the colors of this menu. Now, obviously, you don't want to have to go in here and change it every time. So I set up a little thing. Uh, give me one second while I mess with it. Uh, so uh, then I need to load my thing. So I have been working on a bit of code. Um, and let me see if it's wired up. Uh, that is that one. I didn't want that one running. I want the other one running. So I have two versions of a script. One that is designed just to help me out and the other one that was designed to actually do the work. Um, um, okay, so this one is not the right one. Uh, oops. So what do we need to do instead of... So we need to read the file and grab all the records out of it. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna show you all essentially what it does. Uh, so, well, first off, I'll, I'll load Cheat Engine back on the screen so you can all see it. Uh, so those are the values we're working with. Essentially what you can use this application to do is this. Um, you can search through the, uh, the application basically looking for any given value that you want. Uh, so, uh, for example, if I were to go in here and say config and open this up, I can find, you know, a 255. So I can do an initial search of a byte inside of the memory that has 255 as the initial value. And then I can adjust it down to 223. And uh, if I adjust it down further, I get to 202. Right, and so now I'm down to a set of values that one of these is probably this value here. So if I were to just change all these, right, they, it happens to be that these are all that same value. Um, you'll notice that the value doesn't doesn't hold. Uh, it forces this, and, and that's because I didn't actually find the right values. Uh, because the way the program's running, you can't just modify any value you want. Um, but I've tracked down what the actual ones are that we need to make this work. They are these values here. So if I want this whole screen to just suddenly be black, I can go in here and just 
set the values of all of those to zero, and boom, window color's black. Now what's funny is because I modified this the way I did, I changed the actual menu, like what color it's displaying. Notice the little preview window here is still wrong. Uh, because I didn't modify that one because I don't need to, right? Why do I need to modify that one? That's not really the one that we're messing with. We just wanted these changed throughout the program. Uh, so I modify these values. Uh, and the way it works is there is an RGB value for each of the corners and it blends together in the middle. Uh, so the goal is to make uh, a, a program that can do this. Uh, I was messing around with the scripts to do this and essentially what I have it down to is these 12 values here, which are all individual bytes, I haven't figured out. So there's a fourth byte that I don't know what its value is getting used for in each one of those corners. And I haven't been messing with it because I don't know what that one's doing. Uh, so since I didn't bother figuring out what that value is doing, I, I could watch it and, and maybe figure it out. Uh, but the... Uh, uh, I didn't want to dig into it, but either way, I figured I'd tell you all about this one because it's a cool one. And if you don't know about Cheat Engine, again, it is a really cool program because it really does just let you modify the memory of running programs. So uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with it. Uh, and the nice part is it has scripting built in. So um, what I'm actually building is a Lua script and essentially what we do with that script is I read a file and I set these values based on what's in a file. So I'm basically just you know, serialize, like deserializing some data out of a file and I will write overwrite these values with it. Uh, and then our Lewis script is just gonna watch that file for changes. So what we can then do is say, um, have any program that we want. We could either write a custom program, but I'm actually building this as a, uh, a script plugin for the Streamlabs chatbot uh, because the people that I know that run uh, Final Fantasy set, whoops that run uh, Final Fantasy VII games, uh, they use uh, Streamlabs chatbot as their chat. So uh, I'm gonna set it up so that it works like that. So that's the goal. Uh, it, it basically is just gonna watch, and the plan would be that they'll say something like this. Uh, red, blue, white, yellow, and they'll end up with some really, really nasty uh, menu. Uh, we might put some restrictions on that, maybe limit it so that only only subscribers can mess with the color uh, and can only change it so often. Uh, we may also uh, in some way tie it to bits or something like that uh, so that maybe you, you pay to change the color of the menu. Uh, so the idea being uh, limiting that, uh, limiting the way that that works. Uh, some other, uh, I guess, concepts that I have here are changing other values. Yeah, no, no, no white on white. Yeah, Katrina. Uh, yeah, you, you tell that to people. Uh, they, when you give full control to Twitch chat, you, you, you get no decision on what they happen to pick. Uh, so, for example, uh, we, we can absolutely go white. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at, look at, it's so easy to read that text. No, that is awful. I'm changing it immediately. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're definitely going back to like, like a hundred or something where it's nice gray. See, that's not bad. See, that's toned down. Like I could, I could totally deal with that the whole time. Um, but I'm sure there's some awful colors. Uh, as you can see, we have like full RGB values on that, but that's, that's the neat concept is, uh, just doing that kind of a thing. So I figured I'd mention that cause it's, it's a cool trick. You don't see it too often. Um, obviously we could work on that today. I have a feeling people want to see us work on our web project though, hence why that's in the description here. Uh, but I figured I'd show you all that because it's a cool little side project I was doing. Um, I was working on it yesterday and, and tracked that down, so cool stuff. Hey Simon, greetings, welcome. Uh, and uh, thanks for the heads up, uh, stay hydrated, but I will stay hydrated. Okay, there we go. So. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, oh, because we didn't, uh, yeah, because we need to pull the ones that are in the future and get rid of the old ones. Okay. Um, uh, issues. Um, remove. Uh, clear data from past streams. 
Uh, we don't need to keep track. Uh, actually, we should keep them. Um, no. Uh, uh, show only uh, future streams in the scheduled streams uh, API. Whole future streams only uh, in the scheduled streams API. Um, yep, that sounds good. Uh, by default, the scheduled streams API should only be pulling data from the future, not past streams. That's a bug. Uh, whoops, not project, it is part of the MVP milestone. That needs to get fixed before that goes live. Uh, okay, I noticed a bug in the site that this stream was listed and this stream was listed and they shouldn't be. Um, that's funny. Um, I'm confused why that one's, uh, where the one for today is listed. Maybe I don't actually have all the streams in. Oh, oh, yeah, no, this data is wrong. Uh, never mind, that data is wrong. Uh, but the bug still exists, so we're good there. Uh, hey, the Michael Jolly, welcome. Yeah, uh, build some fun stuff today. Uh, the graph, uh, GraphQL endpoint will do that when I write that bit. Oh, awesome. Uh, oh, I wasn't ordering the data, s &B. Okay, got it. Yeah. I, as I was saying, we just kind of hacked that together. That's not, uh, that is not a done page, really. Uh, okay. So, where are we going? We are going to the cached uh, Twitch service. That's what we're working on today. Uh, so, we messed with this a little bit on our last episode, which has been a while. I apologize about uh, having missed a couple of streams. Uh, my schedule has been crazy lately. Uh, so, um, thank you all for showing up today, uh, even though we missed a bunch. All right, so... Handle cache keys, uh, coming down here, uh, cache is two, um, okay. Uh, so I need to handle cache keys is my note for myself here. So let's take a look. What am I doing for cache keys? Get, this is all live channels. Uh, I don't think, is that enough? You know, I'm going to put this name in it. Um... So we're going to do a name of that, and then we're going to say all live channels. Um, but actually, we're going to do th uh, this. This is supposed to take channel names. Okay, here's what I ran into. Uh, because I asked it to do it this way, it accepts all channels. Um, it accepts the channel names. This isn't, isn't necessarily all the channels. Okay, uh, let's add complexity. Let's add complexity. Um, complexity, so, sort of, min minimal complexity. Um, I want to cache more stuff separately if we can, uh, so that we can do this a little bit better. Um, Uh, okay, so, well, maybe, um, jeez. Twitch live status for the Twitch ID. Uh, okay, so this is based on Twitch ID, not this. Uh, not the name, which maybe we should do it based on the channel name instead. Uh, unless we always have the Twitch ID? We all, we're always going to have the Twitch ID. That's what it is. We're always going to have the Twitch ID. Okay. Uh, I realized what we were, what we were doing wrong here. We're going to, we're going to use the Twitch ID. Uh, so last time, let's take, let's take a look at our code and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Uh, I just tossed this pull request, which I realized I should have made this a draft. Uh, that was foolish of me. Um, but what I realized here is we started switching things. Uh, so we're using the Twitch ID. Did I get this into our data yet? 
Is this actually on the data? Uh, pull up our data model here for a channel. The Twitch channel is right here. So Twitch channel has the channel ID, um, which is our channel ID, and then they have Twitch ID. So the Twitch ID is the one that we want. So we're suggesting that, that we will have this data, which means that we don't need to look it up based on the channel's name. We can look based on their ID. So let's change everything that calls this to call it the correct way now. Uh, so we're no longer going to ask for uh, get channel IDs um, because we're never going to do it as a group uh, ever again. We'll, we'll do it one at a time if we do it at all. Uh, so uh, I'm going to say uh, get, uh, get rid of this. We'll only ever call for one channel's data. Okay. So we're going to leave that there. That'll be the reminder to get rid of that. Um, uh, okay, so uh, get my, actually, I don't want this here. Uh, I want this on this one. What? Oh, right. Derp. Uh, go to implementation. No, go to the other implementation. Um, get channel IDs. Yeah. Uh, Twitch service to this one. There we go. So we're gonna make a leave a note there to get rid of that, which hopefully we'll notice when we're doing our commit. Uh, oh, uh, Simon, yeah, I could obsolete it, but I'm planning on I'm planning on nuking it in this commit. Um, in my GraphQL, getting greater than one channel is a feature. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we moved that out there, um, and and that is actually totally true. We probably should obsolete tag that uh, as well, actually. Uh, but we're getting rid of it immediately, and no one's actually no one should be using it right now. Um, when can I put this on here? No. Uh, that or maybe because I don't have ReSharper, I didn't get uh, the suggestion of adding it. Either way. Uh, so we're now going to get based on these Twitch IDs, which means um, we will we need to check the cache layer to see if it has these values. Um, so first thing, a uh, list of string of. Uh, So live channel Twitch IDs. It's a new list of string. So we'll do that for now. Uh, hey, Riley Dom, welcome, greetings. Uh, I'm gonna use the crud repo for that. Uh, yes, uh, it's actually been a while since I've streamed. That's really the problem. Uh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, uh, Simon, that's what I was saying, is I think I was just missing the using because I'm not running with ReSharper, and it didn't give me the IntelliSense for it, and I didn't bother adding it. Uh, my plan is to get rid of it in this commit, so... Um, here. Maybe that'll make maybe that'll make it obvious. It's now a compiler error until we get it fixed. <laughs> so I definitely won't commit it wrong uh, now. Uh, okay, so... I'm going to do this for the moment. I don't know if it's going to stay as a collection like that. We'll figure it out. Uh, but let's say Twitch ID plural. Twitch IDs. Um, Actually, let's go... Whew, which way do we want to go on this? Uh, so I want to pull all these out of the cache. Um, so we'll, we'll write it the naive way for now. So we're just going to say for each Twitch ID in... Uh, oops, var Twitch IDs. 
uh, we are gonna say uh, underscore cache layer dot get or create a sync. That's the one. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna return it here. Um, oh, actually, no. This this will. Uh, sorry. Um, Uh, so this needs to get adjusted uh, so that it does an individual one instead of the whole set. Uh, so how do I do that? All right. Uh, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, funny you should mention Resharper. You just jogged my memory. Does anyone else... Uh, lose IntelliSense after a while and need to restart VS 2017? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Um, yeah, they, uh, they definitely fight each other. Um, so, uh, either way, this is actually VS 2019, uh, not VS 2017 now, so we, we did switch. Uh, it's good stuff. Reason, reasonable program they they made here. All right, so what are we doing? We don't want to do this. We want to get a cache key, which I think I wrote. Uh, Twitch live status for Twitch ID. Yeah, get key. Uh, so get key uh, for the Twitch ID. Uh, so that'll be the. That'll be that, and then we have an async entry, entry, uh, set absolute expiration, return, and then this is the call here uh, that now needs to take a single one instead of a collection. So that's this method. It needs to take in a string, string twitch ID, and this is going to be slightly different because we want it to call. Um, Let's go back to our interface here for a second. Uh, so, is live on an individual channel? That's the one. Okay. So it's gonna call is live for an individual channel. Um, which, actually, now that I think about it, that's this and this one. Um, so why aren't we just calling the is live fallback? Uh, we don't need this one. Yeah, so we could just call that one repeatedly. Um, oh, SMB, wow, you uninstalled VS 2017. I have not done that yet. Uh, in fact, I still have VS 2015 installed on this computer, um, which yes, I've had to use before because there's some projects that uh, some project types that VS 2017 didn't handle well, uh, just for old stuff when you have to do that. Uh, VS puts so much junk MSI. Uh, yes, yes, Simon, you are correct. Uh, installing new versions of v Visual Studio really gunk up your computer. Uh, someone at Team said that a fresh install of 2019 took up. Wow, SMB, that's impressive. Um, yeah, see, it was like it mentions there. Uh, like you run into things where, uh, where, where you end up actually needing some old version of Visual Studio when you're on an old project that hasn't updated. Uh, you're still using 2012. Wow, Riley, you win. You win. You use. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. And uh, one of the things I'm a big fan of, which I, I think Janisku is alluding to there in chat, is that live share is now just baked into uh, VS 2019. If you were using 2017, you actually had to install the extension for that. So I'm glad it's a first-class citizen now. That is that is a huge change. Um, you know, I'm tempted to just uh, 
cut this right now um, and and get rid of so so if this isn't gonna save us anything maybe it will you know what maybe it will here's what we're gonna do um, instead of instead of doing this at once so um, instead of doing a getter create like so we do a getter create down here so checking is live for an individual channel I absolutely believe this is how it should work is live for an individual channel uh, except that we need to use the get key thing that I wrote here um, for that channel uh, and twitch ID uh, so we do we do want to do that but um, I'm thinking that we want to do something else here uh, so instead of doing a get or create um, I think we just want to get async uh, well that's just that is get or create um, okay Are these async at all okay so if I do a get what's it what's it do uh, it just wants the key and nothing else about it I can tell it the type uh, what is the type I don't even remember what I put in these what in this what did I put in this memory cache oh whether or not it's live okay so that would be get a boolean uh, for whether or not it's live um, and it's not gonna be async on that if I go this route so let's take a look at this um, so that is whether or not this is live. Uh, so that would be is live equals that. Uh, so that's checking to see whether it's in here. Um, what happens if it doesn't have it? I wonder. What's it say? This, is, this says this is an extension method too. What the heck, really? Ah, try get. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Try get. Ha ha ha. It did exist. Fantastic. Okay. Um, has, uh, so we'll, we'll wrap this in an if. All right. Uh, problem solved. This is much better. So we're going to take that. We're going to put it in there. And that's whether or not we have the value. And then we are going to say out bool uh, is live. Okay. Why is that complaining? What do you expect the first parameter to be? Okay, I don't know what I did, but either way, that should work now. Uh, something's going on in chat. Uh, oh, uh, just people saying hi to each other. Uh, SQL 2017 and Linux uh, on Linux and Docker for Windows 2. Uh, so not get all that direction installed either. Much clean. Uh, oh yeah, Simon, that would work. Uh, in my defense, by the way, guys, it was hard enough to get my CTO to use 2017. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to get some organizations to upgrade to the newer versions. Uh, John the Marksman, uh, greetings, welcome, thanks for that follow, much appreciated. Uh, as a dev team manager, the decision is mine. Uh, yeah, SMB, so often the decision has been mine as well, uh, even when working as a consultant, uh, because a lot of times I can actually make the recommendation that the team switch. Uh, so, uh, fun thing, I was actually, when VS 2017 came out, the day it came out, I was giving a workshop for a team, uh, where we specifically were teaching them, uh, .NET Core and, uh, ASP.NET Core as well. Uh, using V so the plan was uh, if we could so we had everybody install the RC uh, before the workshop and then at whatever point they actually released it we could decide whether or not we wanted to uh, upgrade to VS 2017 or not and the cool part is because it came out so early in the morning we actually got everybody upgraded to the final release before we did the workshop which was really really cool uh, so absolutely love being able to do that kind of stuff um, 
Uh, from TFS version control, we're, oh man, s &B. good luck, I hope you manage to make that transition, you will be so much happier on Git, um, there's nothing, so TFS works, I've used it plenty in the past, um, one of the problems in our industry, we, we too often, uh, bash the technology choices of others, for no real reason, because clearly you can solve the problem in, in whatever tech we're bashing at the time, but, um, Still, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with Git that you can't do other places. Hey, Sunamods, greetings, welcome, thanks for that host. Uh, and uh, cool thing, uh, I actually talked about uh, uh, your stream earlier on our stream. Uh, so, everyone, that's Sunamods. I was talking about him at the beginning of our stream. Uh, that's the guy that's doing the, the uh, FF7 mod. So, re really cool stuff. And uh, Sunamods, I was actually showing the, uh, the cheat engine stuff earlier as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, welcome. Uh, I didn't actually show all the code for it, but I did show everybody the, the, the cool thing uh, that you'd suggested we try to do. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's a neat concept. Uh, okay, so, here's what we're doing. Uh, so, we grab the key out of there, uh, we check to see whether or not it is live, so this gets us the value, so we want to take any one that is... Um, so these are all the ones that came from cache, then we need to keep track of the ones that are not. So we're going to grab all the ones, um, need, uh, we'll say not in cache. We'll just do this for now. We're just going to make a se separate list and we'll figure out how to make this uh, a nicer approach later. So if it was not in the cache, then we are going to add it to this list. And we're gonna say Twitch ID, and there we go. That'll keep track of that. And then, um, oh, actually, we could just do this. Uh, oh, and uh, oh, is live. So if it's here, um, ooh, no, no, because we don't want to check the extra. Then we'd be checking the extra ones. Um, So I guess we'll just do a second one. This is kind of silly. Um, we'll just say live push channel IDs, and then we will add um, the Twitch ID, I guess. Are we really returning back the Twitch IDs? I guess we can. It's not a it's not a huge deal. Um. um Oh, uh, Sunamods, you're wondering, uh, my two profiles, you're meaning both Dev Chatter and Brendonius. Uh, I can actually talk about that. Uh, so, I streamed under the name Brendonius, did some gaming streams back in the day. Uh, let me bring that one in here. Uh, so, I think Sunamods is talking about that, the fact that I have this one. So, I can, you know, chime in here with a Sunamods emote there, uh, saying hi to everyone. Uh, so I am Brendonius in a lot of places on the internet. Uh, the challenge is I use that both. Uh, I actually use it in a lot of places. I use that for my gaming stuff. So um, uh, I've actually done some gaming streaming and other stuff like that. And I had intended a couple of years ago to uh, start a Twitch stream and a YouTube channel and a bunch of bunch of other stuff. Um, and uh, was going to do all my tech stuff under the name Dev Chatter. Uh, so that's you know basically the account, the community I wanted to build was Dev Chatter. Uh, so I created this one as the place for that. So, um, yeah, that's that's really the the whole deal. There is that one's you know like personal me, and that this one is like doing this stream community stuff. So that that's the uh, reason for the distinction there. Um, I don't know whether it was a good idea or not, but um, we'll see. So, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, it gives me the added bonus that I don't feel bad if I if I go to someone else's chat while I'm when I'm under the name Brandonius and I talk about my like and I have a conversation about about my channel with people because I'm like well, I'm not on the account so I don't feel as bad because I'm like not really self promoting I haven't posted it like there's no link to it they can't even like click on my profile to get there so like it's uh it's nice and separate um, Ed uh, I go by Seth Rogan only when I'm in Louisville. Uh, that uh, just just so we're clear, just in Louisville.
and Fuel Snable's assessment of Git is accurate. Um, it is <laughs> the distributed nature of Git both makes it good and terrible. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the quick check of which ones are in the cache and not. As I said, we're going to fix this code later. Um, right now, this is just uh, hacked together stuff. Uh, so this just tries to get out of the cache. We then need to call um, the underlying version of this. So we're going to say for each var twitch ID in uh, not in cache, which, yeah, that name's not the best. Again, we'll fix it. We're just we're doing the initial version. We'll clean up later. Uh, initial version's not always the best. Uh, oh, actually, I don't need to do it that way. I can do it this way. Um, await uh, this dot um, underscore uh, service dot live channels. And I'm going to pass in that not in cache collection. And then this should get us back our list of string live channels the problem we have here is this is only going to get me data for live channels it's not going to tell me about the ones that are not live uh, which I think means we want to change how this works uh, so let's make a data type um, Where is, where's this live? Web caching? Okay. So I put it over here. Um, uh, let's see, in the Twitch section, uh, we have a Twitch service. I am going to add a new class that we are going to call, uh, what are we gonna call this? So I need to make a data type that is gonna store this value uh, because I don't wanna just wanna do a, um, uh, I don't want to do a tuple or something like that. This seems uh, silly for this because this seems more more serious. It's going to be in an interface even. Uh, so this is um, uh, channel. Maybe we'll say channel live status. And I, I, I do want to say channel live status because I'm worried if I go as non-specific as channel status, you know, someone could think like, you know. Pre, you know, pre-production, planning, you know, and things like that. But that's not what I mean. I mean, like, you know, it's uh, um, the current state of it. Um, and I, and in this case, I also don't mean the enum. I, I want the name of the channel and that sort of thing. Uh, so, uh, clean, clean it up in phase two. S and B. Uh, not, not gonna be phase two. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to this. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sunamods. Uh, being able to code is super, super handy. Uh, it's part of the reason why I recommend uh, that almost anybody learn to code at least a little bit, because if you know even some code, you can often just go read some docs and just hack some stuff in. Uh, so that's the nice stuff about it, is um, a lot of times you can sort of just figure it out. So we need the Twitch ID, and bool is live. So those will be literally the only two properties for now. We'll decide if we need something else later, uh, but we're gonna go with these two for now. Let's change our interface. So instead of, uh, let's say get channel statuses. So we can, we can actually, we can leave get live channels as, as a helper around the more the more specific one. Um, channel live status. Um, get, uh, get channel live statuses. All right, I hate that name already. Um, Twitch IDs. Twitch IDs. Okay, uh, that needs and semicolon, and let's go to implementation. Which one's it going to take me to? Oh, it found both. Okay. 
Uh, let's go to the real one for a moment, uh, just because I want to take a look at this. So this has got to change to get channel IDs. I think we're getting rid of this. Although, did I get rid of it off the interface yet? Yes, I did. So this is fine. Um, we can leave it there, I guess. Uh, so get live channels. Uh, takes in Twitch IDs instead now. Uh, which, again, means we don't need these. We don't need to two array that either because we just have it. Uh, so that's going to make the collection that's just going to be sent out and then we're going to ask for the result. Uh, so streams, and then what are we checking for? Uh, so this checks to see if there are streams for the user. Um, ooh, actually, that's a good question. Is this gonna work? This may not work. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to check that. Uh, ooh, S and B, I like it. That's a good good suggestion on that name difference there. Um, Uh, this is weird and beautiful thing about coding. Start in high level algorithms or something, dive off making data type, dive off making. <laughs> yeah, uh, Simon is absolutely correct. Uh, be, keeping everything in your head is actually really difficult. It's part of the reason uh, why you'll notice when I'm when I'm doing my stream here. A lot of times I will mention to you all that I can see you in the chat and that I'm not responding yet. Uh, that usually means I'm thinking and I, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Uh, so, like, whatever I've got in my head, I don't want to drop it, so, um, let's see, I need to, um, I'm running, uh, Postman off on the other screen, um, which I don't want to put on the screen, because it's got my IDs on it, so, uh, yeah, so song and dance routine for a moment, everyone. Uh, we're going to add a request. Uh, this is get uh, streams by user ID. Um, it can go in the Twitch API folder. So get streams by user ID. Um, base API URL should just be in our settings, in app settings right here. We're going to put that over there, and then we want to say slash streams user ID something, and then that's got to be the channels, uh, which this first one's just going to be the Twitch ID, uh, so I need my Twitch ID, which I happen to know my Twitch ID, and by happen to know, I mean I happen to know how I can look it up. Uh, there it is. My Twitch ID is 18885413. Oh man, oh man, the secrets I reveal on stream. I am absolutely crazy. Uh, can I do this request without passing in a client ID? Or do I need a valid client ID? Uh, must pass in a client ID or OAuth token. Alright, sounds good. Uh, so, client ID. Uh, yep. Please tell me the streams for that. Uh, so Dev Chatter, uh, I have a stream listed. Um, and, uh, that's the ID and the user ID, but what about a user that's not live? Who's not live right now? Brandonius is not live. There we go. Much smaller user ID. Let's see, and a user uh, underscore ID equals. So the cool thing is, you can act, you actually just list multiple user IDs. Um, 
And does it come back with the data? No. Okay. Um, so it does not. So if I send in uh, a user ID that's a single user ID that's not live, there is no record because there's no stream going on right now. Um, oh, do I really? Oh, I might. Uh, oh, I have a client ID in secrets. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, SNB, you're, you're correct. It would have worked if I ran the code. I meant in Postman. Um, I'm, I'm running in Postman separately, so um, I had to add it to the request over there. Um, let me see what's going on in chat. Whoa, hang on. Um, um, I know the title probably tells me, but what are you creating right now? Uh, oh, thanks, SNB. Yep, you totally got that. We are building a website uh, that's specifically designed for coding streams. Uh, Glenn, welcome, Glenn. Uh, Glenn, Glenn C. Uh, or that might be Glenn NC. I'm not sure. Because uh, it technically could be. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I personally enjoy watching coding to see the process from the outside when you... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Glenn, Glenn is correct. You don't need to know all the answers. You just need to be able to look them up. Uh, first channel ID next year. Uh, yes, exactly, the Michael Jolly. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally going to be posting all that stuff. <laughs> Uh, so how do you know the difference between non-existent and exists but not live right now? Yeah, e exactly, Simon. Uh, that's that's the challenge. Is uh, so we need to see. So if the if the record wasn't there, so here's what we need to do. We need to take and merge this result instead. Uh, so we need to union them based on the IDs or some something like that. Uh, so we have these Twitch IDs. Uh, so. Uh, so here's what we, we're going to do instead. Instead of creating based on... So we're creating our list based on the data, but we don't want to do that. That's what's wrong. So we're going to change it. So instead, we are going to return back the list of Twitch IDs that we received as our parameter set. And instead, what we are going to do is we are going to select that list. So we're going to take these values and we're going to change them. Uh, and we're going to change them into our new data type that we were talking about making. Uh, and I like SNB's suggestion. Instead of live status, we're going to call it live state. Uh, and will this rename the file? No. How do they do that in Visual Studio now if they don't have that? Oh, sorry, everyone. I'm really used to ReSharper. Uh, so trying to run this without it just now. See how it goes. Because uh, I haven't run without it in quite a few years. So I was like, yeah, let's give it a shot. We just installed a new version. I don't have to install it right away. Uh, and let's to list it for now, because I think that'll be a nicer way to go. We're going to change it to returning back that list. Okay, so Twitch ID is clearly X. But... Is live is something else. Uh, this is going to be uh, result dot data. And I don't want to do, th I want to do this kind of a contains. Uh, and we're going to say, why, why is that IntelliSense not working right there? So just to make this a little bit easier to read, I'm going to do this for starters. We're going to rename this variable X to be Twitch ID, just to make that a little clearer. And is live equals uh, result dot data. So that's selecting the username. What was in this actually? Um, Uh, 
There's actually a lot of data about it. Um, but I guess I just need the, uh, technically I would just need the user ID. Uh, I need a map based on the user ID. So, um, so we we'll would say, um, So first off, uh, okay, we do have, if there are any that um, x dot user ID equals Twitch ID. Um, and uh, x dot uh, what is it? Type. What is love? Nope, that's not the right Riley, type. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> no Riley Dom, thanks very much for that Twitch Prime sub. Uh, much appreciated. What what have, what have I missed in t in chat? Also, uh, if I didn't mention it. Uh, anyone who does uh, subscribe here does actually get access to all of our emotes, like that nice hype emote, uh, our derp emote, and our fail emote. Uh, so, good stuff. Um, and you can use those all over Twitch uh, as well, not just in here. Uh, ah, it was Glenn C. Uh, thanks for chiming in with that. Um, ah, okay, so Visual Studio goes the other way. Uh, so you rename the file and then it renames the class. Uh, and Fuel Snable, yes. Uh, you are totally correct. Uh, yeah, that, that was the same thing that I <laughs> that I figured out after a moment. I was just derping there for a bit. Uh... <laughs> oh, and uh, Glenn, uh, one thing. Uh, Janisku is actually correct. Twitch does let you change the casing of the way it displays your name uh, without actually having to do a full like name reach like change on Twitch. Uh, so you can actually do that change a lot more easily. So, uh, if you do want to make that kind of adjustment. Um, uh, f uh, a friend of yours is advancing his stream code commands to see... Oh, yeah, pseudomods. No, you can do some crazy stuff with your commands in, in chat. Um, are you intending to filter, then, uh, transformation here, or just transformation? Um, there is, we're, we need the whole set, uh, Simon. Uh, so there's not going to be any filtering. I need the whole I need the whole data set here. Uh, in both cases, we're going to map them all together and put it together. So um, I don't actually need to do any any filtering. It is just going to be selects the whole way. Um, uh, data. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, uh, you're correct. I could uh, I could do this. Um, Uh, let's see, live channels equals uh, result dot data uh, where type equals how do they 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 just do a lowercase live? Ooh, I do not like this. Um, should I two lower it just in case? It's, it's supposed to be lowered in their API. I'll chance it um, that it won't disappear. Uh, so we're going to do that. So we're just going to call it live channels any that match the ID. So yeah, that's a nice point is uh, we could do that and then check it, uh, which in theory would, would save us that effort. But I need to make sure that I actually resolve that action. Otherwise, what would happen is every time we checked this, it would be filtering out any that were not actually live. So I don't know the case where it would show us a stream that's not live, but since they have that status marker on there, I want to use it just in case, uh, because the concern there is that they might be doing something like, um, you know, a, a, a future planned stream, an event or something like that gets gets in there. Um, he's adding key binding to them so he can, viewers can literally play games. <laughs> Hey, Robert Tables, welcome! Uh, thanks for that raid. Uh, I saw you were live earlier. I didn't get to catch the stream. You were you were doing your uh, your standard stuff, soldering things that just goes like flying over my head, uh, and I don't I don't know what's going on there. But welcome everyone. 
Uh, hopefully that was uh, a, a good stream that you were watching there today. Uh, I know it usually is with Robert. Uh, he's an entertaining guy. Uh, and uh, welcome, welcome, yes. Uh, SMB, thanks for uh, for holding up the hypes there. We got some other people with hypes in the chat. Come on, let's let's get some protection from that raid here. Don't worry, we have an army of Chattosauruses prepped and ready. Uh, they will they will not uh, they will not let me get hurt. Uh, so yes, yeah, Suna. Um, I know another guy. Uh, his name is um, uh, well, um, I guess I won't bother. I, I know his first name, uh, but um, he streams under the name Smart ASCII. Uh, so, like, smart ASCII, like that. And uh, he hasn't been on here, but uh, he hasn't been around for a while, but the cool thing that he does in his stream is he has his computer set up so that uh, people in his chat can activate hacks, and they'll do things like rotate WASD on him, so he'll be in the middle of playing a game, and all of a sudden WASD don't work right. And so he has to figure out which one they got mapped to and then keep playing while while it's all messed up. And other things like it'll flip his screen so he actually has to play the game upside down or mirrored or other stuff like that. So basically he gave chat hacks on his computer, which is just really, really awful. Like, oh my god, I don't know how... And they, like, So people will try to like time triggering the hack for like when really awful things are like he's gonna get chased by someone and he'll try to trigger that just so that they get like really messed up oh man it's it, it is a brilliant and awesome thing and uh yes so pseudomod uh that is actually the kind of stuff that i want to do to final fantasy 7 um oh well that that's funny uh he should talk to smart ascii because uh ascii did that sometime last year um i was helping him out with it uh yeah it totally is um, I, I absolutely love that. Uh, it's it is a, a brilliant idea. Uh, he, I'm I'm assuming he still has all the stuff that he did it. Uh, the cool way that we came up with for how to actually make that work is um, he's uh, I'm blanking on the name of the program. Uh, there's a there's a program that we use. Basically, we wired up all of his uh, WASD keys uh, to be hot keyed to other ones. And so then within his games, they're just, you know, switching out the keys. It's it's really, really fun. Uh, welcome. Uh, ooh. I am going to mess up your name. Uh, is that J-P-H-N-N-Y-O? Um, I apologize for butchering that, but welcome. Thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. Uh, anyone else that's in here and uh, is enjoying the stream and all, uh, be sure to hit that follow button to get notified when we go live. Uh, and I will get back to the code here in a second. I apologize. You have the hex codes for FF7 via cheat engine, so chat could give you poison or slow at any time, things like that. Oh, well, that's actually really nice, Sunamods. Yeah, no, uh, I would love to know what those hex codes are, because uh, then I don't have to find them. Uh, finding the menu ones was actually trickier than I expected it to be, because there are like five trap versions of what they are that are not really the menu ones, uh, but they hold the same value most of the time. So I did track them down for all that stuff. Um, so we do have that. Adam insert... Uh, oh, yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, where he mapped a musical keyboard to type like a computer keyboard. Uh, oh, oh, that's a really cool one, James. Um, do you all know uh, Mark Miller of Code Rush? Um, he does the Code Rush streams. Uh, one time at a conference, Mark had wired up a rock band guitar... Uh, like the game Rock Band, not like not like a rock, not 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 that, but like he made it so that the the buttons on that guitar were his input into uh, Visual Studio, and so he was doing programming competitions against professional developers where he would be programming with a guitar and using Code Rush, and you know there was basically just this challenge program you had to make, and so he would just be programming on the guitar, uh, so a really really funny funny display. Um, Uh, you have a program that goes with it. Uh, if I could take it apart, we'd get everything, or just have chat interaction with that program. Uh, Sunamods, we should chat about that at some point. Um, yeah, James, it was a, it was a cool cool gimmick that Mark did. Mark's always doing cool gimmicks. Uh, he's is a very creative guy. I love Mark. Uh, geez, I'm not, I've known Mark almost twelve years now. Amazing, amazing, amazing guy. He's 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 quite fun. Um, 
I'm glad he's streaming because he is a great candidate for it. Okay, that should work. So this will get us our live channels. So if we go back to the other one and we, uh, this one, and we say uh, if they're not in cache, then we call get live channels and then we want to cache them. Uh, so we're going to say uh, this is not live channels anymore. Uh, this is uh, returning back. Did I close it? Nope. There it is. Twitch service. Um, and the whoops. Derp. Where did I just put that? Right there. There it is. Okay, uh, so that should get us that. Twitch service is getting us live state, and there's the official one live state, live state, perfect. Okay, does this build right now? We've made a bunch of changes. Might not build. And uh, K Merck, uh, welcome. Thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. Uh, how many followers are we at these days? I don't actually even know. Um, I don't usually pay. I haven't paid attention to that in a long time. <laughs> I think the last time I looked was when we were at like 3,000. Oh, I actually know. Uh, like 3,100 some? That's, that's not bad. All right, so. It says this doesn't match that. That's fine. Um, project. Does that piece build? Yes. So when I try to build this piece, just this piece and not the other one, does it fail because Twitch service does not implement the pieces that it's supposed to. Get live channels, get... Oh, uh, right, because I changed that. There is, uh, there's no reason to do get live channels anymore, is there? It should now just be this one. Because we don't actually need both. That's silly. Get channel live states, which is going to be the new name of it. Uh, and that includes in the cached one. Takes in cache IDs, which means that this call is going to get changed as well. Um, both inheriting from Twitch service. Yeah, not all code paths return a value. That's fine. Um... So we're no longer going to cache the boolean live status, we're going to cache the live state itself. This says I don't need that. Um, sure, because I specified it there, it can intuit it. Um, this needs to get renamed to state. State dot is live. Um, you know what? I don't care actually if it is or not, since we're returning back all of them. Um, so we're gonna call this states uh, channel live states. That's the value we will return, uh, and it is one of these now. So I'm going to rename this to IDs not in cache, just to be a little bit clearer on the name. Uh, so we, our initial one, I didn't worry too much about the name, but we are we are getting that fixed. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, yeah, I already read that. Um, doo -doo. Uh, get channel live states. Oh, uh, that's funny. I think SMB suggested the same one I did. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. That, that means I probably did the right name. Um, so regardless, I want to do channel live states add in the state. 
I don't need to check the value, I just need to put it in there now. Uh, and then if it's not in cash, we add it to the cash. Uh, we are sorry, we add it to the not in cash list. Uh, and we will grab that whole set. And this is not live channels. This is... Um, uncached states. So now we need to cache them. Uh, and the way we'll do that is we will say for each um, state in non-cached states uh, underscore cache layer we will create an entry Uh, using the key get key I really should call that like create key or something which I'll change in a minute state dot twitch ID do I really not have a better method to call this with it wasn't that extension method to set do it Set the item to the value. I think that's the one I want. I think set is the better one. Yeah, this is the better one. Get key state dot twitch ID. Uh, oops, out here. Value is going to be state. There we go. Found the one we wanted, and there's an extension method that makes that a little nicer. Okay. Um, updating your OBS. Oh, good. Are you getting the uh, the new uh, the new codec to be able to uh, run a little bit better? Uh, Mud Pie Mojo, welcome. Greetings. Thanks for that follow. Uh, evening. Hey, Coded Beard. Welcome. All right. Uh, so that is no longer the ugliest thing I've ever seen, although it still needs some work. This is kind of bad. Um, I'm not super thrilled by this right now, uh, but it's not terrible. Uh, okay, so we grab them in the cache if they're not, and if if if, if they're not in the cache, then we we pull the the data, and then we insert them into the cache individually. So this is for any any ones that we want to check. Um, I said I was going to rename this. Uh, so this is going to be create cache key. It's the new name. So create cache key is the new name of that uh, because it needed it. Because uh, get key just wasn't wasn't a very good name. Surprise! It wasn't a very good name. Uh, yeah, SNB. It had been. Uh, I think I missed over a week of streams, so I'm really glad to be back on this one. Um, so thanks for uh, thanks for joining me today, everyone. Really, really glad to be getting this uh, stream in. Um, let's discard that change. All right, we're about ready for this. I want to see how close we are to building right now, because uh, we changed a lot of things about that interface. Uh, yeah, see, because uh, I didn't rename where we were using it yet. So, uh, so this is get uh, channel live states. Um, actually, did SMB suggest something else? Yeah, no, no, this was the exact same thing he suggested. I just wanted to see if you'd suggested something else. Get channel live state and uh, get channel live state. These are not done, by the way. Um, th those calls are not perfect. I need to go fix all of them. Uh, because they do not have the correct data. Live channels. Uh, so this is not live channel names anymore. Um, so this is just channel states. Yeah, channel live states is what this is now. Um, so we don't want to do this. Uh, live channels are uh, channels uh, let's see uh, 
You know what? Let's do this. Um, I was going to do this, but I'm going to wrap this await, and I'm going to say select um, since this just wants the live ones. So we're going to do this and that. We're going to say x x dot uh, is live. So where is live? Select the Twitch ID, and we're going to call this uh, Twitch ID uh, IDs uh, live Twitch IDs live Twitch IDs. So we'll say uh, where live Twitch IDs, and we'll say contains on this one. And we'll two list it. I don't expect that collection to be large enough to be a problem uh, to just have in memory. And we'll say x dot twitch ID. Now this may bomb right now because that twitch ID might not that twitch value might not be filled in. If that's the case, we just need to adjust where that's called from. Um, so this one. Uh, so this is not live channels anymore. This is um, channel live states. Um, uh, and actually, let's say, uh, well, actually, here, we'll, we'll actually, we will do it that way. We'll say live channels is going to be, again, we're going to wear this down to just the ones we care about. And we will say uh, where they're actually live. Um, I don't actually think we're, we're going to get the ID instead of the channel name here when I do this. Uh, so we'll need to fix this later. Um, live channels, pick from one random element. Um, we still needed to get the data so <clears throat> we'll select the, the twitch ID for now um, we're gonna make this live channel IDs instead of live channels that's what that is now. Um, and then let's do a to list on this. And that should be the correct data. Okay, let's find the last place where this is called. Um, and I see stuff going on in chat. I will, I will catch you all in a second, don't you worry. I am not ignoring you. Uh, I mean, I'm technically ignoring you, but that's not because I'm intending to ignore you. It's because I want to make sure that I actually uh, don't lose my train of thought here. Okay. Uh, Stole better. Hey, welcome. Greetings. Uh, you were able to. S uh, yes, Stole Penner. I was able to start the stream. Uh, obviously. Greetings. Greetings. Welcome. Uh... <laughs> Good answer, s &B. Good answer. Uh, I I ate a burrito today. It was delicious. Uh, I ate a burrito today because National Burrito Day, according to the internet, was a few days ago. So I ate a burrito today and on National Burrito Day. Uh, that was totally the reason. It wasn't just because I felt like eating a burrito. It was totally because of the holiday, clearly. Um, definitely no other reason. That would be crazy. Um... Do, do. Uh, let's do one of these. Do, 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 do. Um. Uh, 
Uh, what did I want to do? Um, is live, yeah. Um, but on this one, I want to go a slightly different route. So this will get us. Um, So I want to return back the channels, not the channel names, but the channels. Uh, I guess I could return back the channel names. That seems silly. Oh, so the funny thing is I don't want to pass in channel names here either. Um, I need to pass in the channel IDs. Um, Which, uh, IDs. Oh, uh, when you decide to change how stuff works. The ripple. The ripple. Um. So, we want... Uh, this code needs to move somewhere else, Brendan. Uh, what is going on? Uh, yeah, exactly, stool penner. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Simon, no, no. It's totally, totally better to have it on its own line like that when you can. Um, Mr. The Wilka, greetings, welcome. Thanks for that follow. Uh, Jen's Duck, hey! Greetings, welcome. Long time no see. I don't have a duck cat within reach, so I can't, I can't do that, but, uh, like what I'd normally do when Jen shows up. Uh, the Jen's Duck, yes, quack, quacks back. Uh, you guys have info, but might come off self-promotional. Uh, how self-promotional, Jen's Duck? Um, like you're gonna be streaming? I don't, I, I'm, I don't terribly mind if you, if, if that's what it is. I mean, like, don't, like, post a bunch of links to stuff, but... I don't mind talking to people about the stuff they're doing. Especially if it's cool stuff. Uh, we wanna do channel, uh, do I really wanna return back the channel? I don't feel like returning back the channel. Maybe we'll return back the channel names. Uh, okay, so we'll say channels where... Um, uh, let's do this again. Oh man, this is bugging me. I really probably should have just returned back the Twitch IDs, but... <sighs> Maybe I should just have a helper that does it. In some fashion. I say helper, but I don't necessarily mean like a helper method. Uh, let's see. Um, so this would be live, live Twitch IDs. Uh, contains, uh, let's see, c.twitch.twitchid. And then I want to select from that the name. So we'll just pull the names, and then this will be what we actually return. So we'll return back the channel names. So actually, let's make this its own variable. Of our ch channel names, I can type sometimes. And actually, I should call this live channel names just to be clear. Okay, so we return the live channel names. I mean, I still need to do it better, but this is less bad, so that's an improvement. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, Jen's Duck! Oh, you got affiliate! That's awesome! Congratulations, Jen's Duck! Yeah, no, that's not uh, that's not a self-promotional problem at all. And uh, I like I like the ducks. 
Uh, that's good. Congratulations. Fun stuff. Um, did the bot... Oh, the pro bot probably died. I haven't been paying attention to the bot at all. <laughs> I would not be surprised by that at all. Um, do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, what else was I doing? I think I hear a small human uh, downstairs. I think he might have woken up from his nap. <laughs> we might hear him in a little bit then. We'll we'll see how it goes. My my son should be awake. Uh, let's see. Um, you're trying to create an answering machine service. Uh, Jen's Duck, uh, in what way are you trying to create an answering machine service? Um, uh, Revo, that's talking about on, on Twitch. Uh, so that means that, uh, Jen's Duck averaged at least, like, three viewers streamed some number of times in the past 30 days, uh, and has at least 50 followers. So uh, they've got uh, basically some, some some metrics that you need to meet as a Twitch streamer in order to get to uh, affiliate status, and then they send you an offer that you can accept. Um, compiler can't check the difference between list of channel name and list of Twitch IDs, as it only sees list of strings, not list of two different... Uh, yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, Simon. That's why I'm planning on going through and making sure that um, all the calls to that method... Uh, are taking in the correct value um, so we don't run into a problem there uh, I am planning on checking that but yes good good thing to make sure I don't forget there uh, Jen's duck are you uh, what are you what are you running to try to do the answering machine thing um, I'm wondering yeah Revo yep yep streamer stuff that, that's a good description of it. Could not copy the files. Hey, that's that's a good sign. Bonk. Uh, so that means it might be compiling right now. Uh, hey, it is. Cool. All right. Uh, let's take a look. So we're going to go over here. We're going to check all the references to this. And go here. Okay, that one looks fine. I'm gonna get rid of that, I don't need it. Is there a way to refresh this? Refresh. Twitch, not Twitch ID. Twitch IDs. Uh, this one as well. Twitch ID means that this now becomes Twitch IDs. So we get those switched. Refresh. I think that is all of them. Yep, streamer stuff. Crazy to think I've been, I've, I've been uh, so I actually when so I, I did my first live streams in like 2017 actually, but they weren't programming streams. I did gaming streams in 2017 on my other account, um, but now programming streams I've been doing them for over a year now. Quite quite crazy, quite crazy. Hard to believe it's been that long that I've been doing these. All right, uh, let's take a look. We got to dig through this code because um, I want to get a commit, but only if we're in a relatively good state. Uh, and I say relatively because we do not need this to be uh, even close to perfect for a commit. Once we, because that, that's the advantage of using Git, is um, it is okay to do a commit early. Um, someone hilariously posted on Twitter asking if anyone had ever done a, a bisect in Git. And sadly, I have, and I can tell you that, that these little commits are, are mildly annoying for a bisect if you actually are trying to track something down. Uh, however, um, 
I would rather have them for what they let us do when programming and that I can then see my, my smaller changes later uh, instead of seeing one massive change. So uh, it is it is nice to do it this way still. Uh, and if if I if you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't don't really worry about it. So there's my is live fallback. There's is live. There's the cache key. You know I'm gonna move this to the bottom because this gets used by other stuff. So that it really feels like it should be down there. It's private method. It should come after the publics. I feel. Um, up here. I probably should have just made the cache keys for all of these values initially, um, but I didn't. That's fine, I guess. Uh, hey, Calvin! Welcome! Greetings! Long time no see. Uh, yes, exactly, Robert. Commit amend. I commit amend all the time. I, I like lying about history. It's nice. And yes, see, see, Robert? Yes, Skip Bisect is absolutely amazing. It, it really is, but, but yes. Uh, like how you usually put on my head. Uh, thanks. When the user comes back to my channel, it relays the message. Oh, Jen's Duck! That's actually really neat! Uh. Sorry, Jen, Jen's Duck complained, so hang on. There we go. Gotta, gotta put the hat on, everyone. It's important that we wear, that we wear, we wear hats. Uh, I'm sure all of you know that. I used to so so funny thing that people uh, from long ago know. Uh, if if I used to get a, a host or a raid from from C Sharp Fritz, I'd always put a hat on and be like, oh oh, I want to make everybody more comfortable when they get here, so I'd put a hat on. Uh, but no, I put on my rubber. See, this is my ru my rubber ducks cap. Hey, eh? as a, as the rubber ducks uh, right there. Good stuff. That, that's that's my baseball team. Uh, I do do love me some rubber ducks baseball. Uh, see, Jen's Duck. Wait, you uh, you do PlayStation? You uh, your gaming? You do gaming streams PlayStation? Is that what you're saying? On the PlayStation one? Um, I need to find out what you're talking about. This channel here, gaming streams. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Um, we were talking about Final Fantasy VII earlier on the stream. I had it running, uh, which would be a uh, a PlayStation original game. Um, and by original, I mean like PlayStation One. Uh, uh, well, welcome back, Calvin. Yeah, glad glad uh, glad to see you're here. Oh, oh, I'm on Twitch on the PlayStation. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. FF7, yeah, good stuff. Oh, Calvin, uh, if you like FF7, you should see what uh, the cool stuff. Uh, I don't. If, if, Suna, you in here still? Suna mods. Uh, cool breeze. Hey, welcome. Thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. Uh, hey, Suna's here. Uh, Calvin. Click on Suna's name, go check out his channel, and watch his stuff. If you like Final Fantasy VII, uh, Suna runs a, uh, a, a team that uh, is is uh, modding Final Fantasy VII with some really, really cool stuff. Uh, you should you should absolutely check it out. Um, oh, here you go, actually. I'll just do this. Look, Suna, I have one of those buttons. You'll notice that I haven't shouted out everyone that's been here today. Uh, but, yes, uh... You, you should absolutely check that out. Uh, I don't always do that, but uh, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't just shout people out like crazy because I want it to actually mean something. But if you like Final Fantasy VII at all, you should absolutely check that out. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem, SNB. I will let you know. Uh, and uh, Kevin, uh, welcome. Thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. All right, so this code I think is close I'm gonna review it here uh, so let me see what can go in in the smallest piece I want to do the tiny commit first uh, so I'm not committing that one yet so I'm gonna add this um, I think that needs to go in with the rest of this 
So that is changing the interface. Did I get rid of the get channel IDs? I think I left it in there. Let's actually, let's, let's nuke it. It's going away. Goodbye. I don't need you anymore. Uh, actually, you know what? No, screw it. We're going to keep it. Um, uh, we're, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it there for now. Because I think we are going to want that eventually. I just think I don't want it on this interface. I think Twitch service is too big. Um, so interface segregation principle, everyone. This interface is going to grow too large. I need to rename it. But I'm not going to do that in this commit. Uh, so this is the cache Twitch service, and that's the Twitch service, and both of these need to go in. Um, let's say, uh, move this to new interface following IS, uh, interface, interface segregation. Okay. Uh, the is live controller uh, got switched to calling based on that value. That's that calling based on those. All right. So before we actually commit this, we're gonna go ahead and run it and see what happens. Uh, so it might crash. I do not like. We might get null references because I did not check that we actually pulled the value that we're trying to use. So those Twitch ID values that we're trying to pull, um, they're not going to exist in some places, actually. I know this is going to blow up. Uh, so we'll see when it blows up. Um, but I, I actually know that it's going to blow up. So we'll watch it blow up together, because that sounds fun. <laughs> it's nice when you know that, at least. Uh, and the reason it's going to blow up is because some of these channels don't have a Twitch ID on them, uh, even though they're supposed to. See, we got a null reference exception uh, because we don't actually have the Twitch ID for them. Now, what I can't guarantee is did that fail because we didn't pull the values or did it fail because those specific ones we aren't going to have the values uh, for? Um, Calvin, uh, I like VS 2019 so far. It doesn't feel terrible. Like, there's a couple of things that are slightly nicer than 2017, but uh, certainly not one of those, you know, must upgrade immediately type situations. Uh, I installed resharper on it and then i uninstalled it because i was like you know what actually let's run without it for a little bit and just see the point that vs 2019 has gotten to and i'm on shaky ground right now there's still a handful of things that resharper does that it kills me that visual studio still has not implemented they have been in there forever um things like i renamed a, a class can you give me a way to rename the file automatically when I rename the class? Instead of rename the file and have it rename the class, I want both directions, for one. The other thing is, I really, really, really want them to be able to let me, when I write something that is going to be a variable, let me just say, hey, extract a variable from this right now. Yeah, so I might uh, I might install ReSharp, I haven't put it on yet. Today is the first day of, of using it for real. Uh, without having ReSharper installed, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, where where to go, where to go? Uh, I wanted to test out um, this. Where is that? Index CSHTML CS. Um, when they're going to call this method. So that's these ones, uh, which means it is question mark dot, question mark dot, um, and I want to say uh, where. Uh, I'm going to remove, essentially remove the empty entries from that. So that's going to get me the Twitch IDs. I'm going to take the Twitch IDs and pass it into that. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. There we go. Okay. 
Um, stop the website. Rebuild it. Run it. And let's see what's going on in chat. Uh... Yeah, exactly, Katrina. Renaming class to rename the file as well. Such a huge thing. Um, maybe we should do a stream of writing code fixes to implement some of that stuff. Uh, Glenn C., uh, which which things? Um, I have, in the past, I actually did some streams where the whole goal was just refactoring the whole time. I've done plenty of those. Uh, or do you mean, uh, oh, you mean like actually uh, building the, uh, like the Features Individual Studio? Uh, so that we had Visual Studio extensions that covered some of the missing features in ReSharper, if that's what you mean. Um, then go to the implementation for interface without ReSharper drives me nuts. Oh, yes. Digital drummer. Yeah, I'm so used to just the keyboard shortcut and I jump to the definition or the or the uh, implementation. Uh, interface definition, then you can go to the... Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Simon, yeah. Yeah, it might be shorter than that. I might not make it through three streams. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing that's Ilya, but the font is really hard to tell if that is I-I-Y-A or L-L or I-L. Uh, but either way, welcome, hi, and, uh, yeah, you can absolutely, uh, ask a question. Uh, if anyone's got questions, I think I've got the AMA tag here on the stream, so, uh, feel free to shout out with questions. We, we try to have fun here, but we also want to be an educational place, so if I do crazy stuff that confuses anybody also, that's another good thing. You can always jump in with questions. Uh, we have people of various different skill levels here at all times, so... Ah, it is Ilya! Ha ha! Woo! I got it! <laughs> uh, hopefully I pronounced it right, but at least I, I guessed what that spelling probably was. Um, that's what I meant. Implement, uh, analyzers. Oh, yeah, yeah! Glenn C. No, I think that's an awesome, awesome idea. Um, I think, I think that would absolutely be a fantastic thing to do. So... Maybe at uh, some point on the stream. <sighs> yeah. Problem with this is my lighting's really bad to have a hat on because I don't actually have enough lighting here. Uh, I only have four lights and none of them are all that great. So this is part of the reason why I don't wear hats on stream because I end up with just my face in the dark. A couple of things I should mention since I've got a bunch of people here right now. Um... All the code we do here on the stream is out on GitHub at github.com slash devchatter. Uh, I will be merging this stuff in, at least pushing it out, if not merging it into our dev branch, uh, sometime probably today. Uh, in addition, if you want to chat with me or any of the other people that are here in the chat, most of us are actually over in our Discord, uh, so there's usually good conversations about stuff there as well. Um, uh, you want to migrate from... Uh, ASP to PHP, and you've never worked with ASP, so what would you recommend to have, uh, what to be careful with during the port? You need to migrate a project from ASP to PHP. Uh, so the challenge there is that that is, that is a very, uh, significant question that, you, that you've actually brought up. Uh, there is, um, it depends on what you, oh, I'm glad I pronounced it right also. Awesome. Uh, I, I, it's always, it's always nice, because it's really hard to get it, like, there's so many. Uh, so, I'm glad I got it, but, um, when you say SP, you could mean three different things. Um, which, I'll just open up a notepad to write what I'm talking about. There is, um, ASP, which we usually call classic ASP. Uh, there's ASP.net, uh, which, you know is, you know, you might also hear it called uh, ASP.NET Web Forms. Um, someone might have said ASP.NET MVC, which again is another full name, which actually now that I think about it, this really it's ASP.NET could have meant either this or that. And lastly, you could also mean ASP.NET Core. Uh, so it is unlikely that it is this last one, because this is the current one. Um, but it is most likely you meant this one, unless the website is really old, at which point you might have meant that one, because that's that's the one you just said, but uh, like that hasn't been current tech since the 90s. So if it's a really old site, that might be what you meant. But either way, uh, the the stance is different, but this is this is the big thing I would recommend, knowing what, what you're coming from here. Uh, because this will make the biggest difference. Um, 
So it's definitely AS, classic ASP. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, Digital Drummer. There's technically ASP.NET Pages is, is another one under here that, that it could be. Um, I mean, keep in mind that on this one, I didn't mention that it could be ASP.NET MVC or uh, ASP.NET Razor Pages either. Ah, Razor Pages. So, I mean... <laughs> There's a lot of options, but the 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 point that I, that I was trying to make is let, let's make sure that it's the right one, um, and uh, definitely going from ASP to PHP. Uh, yeah, so uh, classic ASP is more similar to to PHP, I think, than than it is to modern uh, uh, ASP.NET Core. It's a web portal and it's old. Uh, okay, so um, I don't have a lot of great answers. So the the things I would keep in mind is that um, a lot of classic ASP code is is spaghetti code and it's very tightly coupled together, uh, and you'll find it like intermingled a lot, really like in the HTML. Uh, so I, I've had to do some conversions of a lot of old classic ASP projects. So they're usually not well organized. Um, just because there wasn't a lot of structure to them so it wasn't really like something that you did it was it was very easy to just put the code right on the page uh so the short answer i'll give you there is um try not to miss anything would be like maybe one of the suggestions uh, in terms of finding uh i guess I wonder how much you're going to try to learn uh, classic ASP to understand what it is you're converting. Um, oh, uh, so Glenn, yeah, the challenge is I think um, I think Ilya is trying to convert uh, over to PHP, which I I I have dabbled in PHP very minimally. Um, it's not a not a place that I've gone too much. That's not a that's not the programming language that I that. <laughs> <laughs> this is not where my experience lies. Mine's mostly in the Microsoft stack, uh, although I've got some history with Python and C++ as well, um, more significant than the others. Uh, and I've done some Java, uh, but uh, PHP is not an area that I've done all that much with, so I don't have good advice on that one. Uh, but in terms of uh, 400 bad requests, what? On which thing? Uh, what's this called? Twitch service, Twitch service channel live states all right we'll actually run it and see where it yells at us um, uh, stop the website from here stop there we go it's a bad idea to have two versions of, uh, of this running uh, light switch oh light switch was fantastic Calvin uh, I guess yeah What was Digital Drummer talking about? Hang on, what did I miss? Uh, no, ASP Pages is different from uh, Light Switch. That was two things designed to solve the same problem, uh, Calvin. So in standard Microsoft form, uh, I believe that was two separate teams created solutions to the same problem. Kind of like uh, when we all got linked to SQL and Entity, and Entity Framework from two different teams uh, at a similar time. Uh, both of them trying to solve uh, you know that whole situation uh what is this get uh twitch service line 84 um okay since i don't want that to be uh sorry everyone i'm gonna do this real fast Congratulations, you get to see that screen for a moment. Um, oh, yep, it's passing an empty user ID. Um, that's what I thought might happen. I thought I prevented this from happening. 
Okay, uh, so there's the problem. Okay, uh, so um, we just need to say if uh, Twitch IDs Uh, if there aren't any Twitch IDs, return um, There we go. Done. Uh, I think that'll work. Yeah, sorry, I didn't want to do a thing with my client ID in there and then have to reset it. That'd be annoying. Uh, is the site still running over here? Hang on. Uh, this must still have it. IS Express is holding on to it. Let's kill it. Uh, yep, stop the site. Okay. Uh, Mihai TV, greetings, welcome. Um, uh, yeah, no problem, Ilya. Uh, so hopefully it is client, but that's the big thing is I would figure out which one it is. Um, and just keep in mind that, uh, yeah, so fuel stable is correct. So you can find good ASP classic code. So it might be, but I'm giving, I just wanted to give you the warning that because of the way it's structured, you can find some really intermingled messes. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Uh, yeah, Simon, that's a great question of, of uh, what is the reason for the change from uh, moving from uh, classic ASP to PHP? Um, yes, exactly, Ilya. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, Digital Drummer. I don't want to dox myself on stream. Imagine that. Um, I know of two streamer, two two programming streamers only that have have uh, posted their stuff on stream uh, foolishly. Uh, C Sharp Fritz did it one time, and uh, uh, Code Rushed did it one time. So both uh, Jeff and Mark have both done the whole uh, um, sh showing their their IDs and having to reset them uh, on stream. Um, all right, so we got a null ref on that. Uh, which that makes sense because I didn't fix this one. Um, that is. ones question mark done question mark done oh I can't wait until we can get rid of that uh, I would like to make it so that that's not possible uh, although in this case it still might be uh, we'll see um, we'll need to we'll need to fix that at some point fix it correctly I should say Luckily, that's an easy thing to search for. Just be like, where am I doing a question mark dot and fix it? Hey, there we go. Back up and running. Nothing's live, though, because it's broken. But don't worry about that. The point being that the site's not totally busted right now. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, changing to channel live state from is live okay there we go uh, uh, we almost did it at our give camp hackathon when one of the teams pulled up their documentation that had all the nonprofits passwords in it uh, thankfully the capture card had failed and the webcam didn't focus well enough on the screen to Wow digital drummer that would have been bad uh, you were you were streaming the uh, your, your give camp huh 
uh, I need to start trying to stream again. Yes, Calvin, you absolutely should. Uh, or, or you should take me up on that suggestion that you become a guest on my stream at some point, too. Um, pr probably should do that, you know. I know I talked with you about it. Streaming's a tough thing to do, but you should uh, you should definitely get back into it. We've got a lot more streams now too. Okay, so now that we got that sort of fixed up a little bit, let's see if we can't nice this some. So I mentioned that we were violating the interface segregation principle, sort of, kinda. We're not yet, but we we're on the path to do it. And I'll explain why. This is just called iTwitch service. Now, Twitch service kind of implies that it just handles all the Twitch stuff, which is maybe fine-ish kind of sorta. But we probably want separate ones for this. Um, the thought being, we might want to get uh, like maybe we call one the stream service. Uh, so this could be the Twitch stream service, which gets the state. Maybe that's what we call it. You're telling me that I can't rename? You just want to go the other way? What are you even doing, Visual Studio? What are you here for? What are you here for, if not to do this job for me? <sighs> All right, we'll do it over here. I Twitch stream service. And it didn't rename it over here. Worthless. <laughs> Alright, let's find out if that was all of them. Whoa, nope, apparently not. Oh, that makes sense. It'd be in this controller, too. That should be all of them there, though. Uh, let's see. Um, you stream the show until at the end of the hackathon. Uh, we had to watch the recording back frame by frame to double check. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, if you, uh, yeah, that is part of the challenge there, uh, Digital Drummer. One other option would be to just delete that, uh, delete the stream just to make sure. But yeah, like I think I think I'd recommend doing that just in case anyway. But um, uh, yeah, Simon, uh, yeah, you, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to rethink that estimate. Uh, it might be the next stream uh, when 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 we have ReSharper installed. Yes, yeah, three three quarters of a stream. Uh, oh, maybe, yeah, see, but that's the thing, is, like, I want it to do, like, because it renames everything else that same way. Uh, yeah, uh, do an RR for rename, and it'll do it. Uh, good, good call there. Uh, which is silly, because, like, over, the keyboard shortcut that it uses over here works just fine. So, for those of you that don't know, this is actually true in Windows as well. Um, if I... I'm going to open up Explorer here for a second. Um, so if you don't know, in Windows Explorer, if you're on a file or something like that and you hit F2, it pulls up rename. So legit F2 is the rename key in Windows. If I'm over here in the Solution Explorer and I hit F2, it brings up the rename option. When I have ReSharper installed and I'm on something and I hit F2, it brings up rename. But Visual Studio's keyboard shortcuts, oh no, we can't let F2 be the one. We don't want to match with Solution Explorer, Windows Explorer, and every other freaking program out there on the internet. Oh no, we need Control-RR. 
Clearly, we need a different keyboard shortcut for this. Can't possibly match with everything else. Uh, let's see, the double check was to see if we had to go change on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I get what you mean, Digital Drummer. I would recommend after you do that that you delete it anyway, just in case you were wrong. Um, that's what I was saying. I would I would go on the safe case. Uh, just in case. I, I mean, I don't know what the I don't know what the organization was, so like it might not be something that someone's gonna try to get that for, but um, I could never get the new resharper keyboard binding option working in VS20. Oh, weird. Um, yeah, fuel snable. It could. Um, well, that's the stupid part about the new Max there, fuel snable. Like the the touch bar for their F keys is kind of annoying. <laughs> Pressing the R key. Yeah, <laughs> Visual Studio is drunk. Uh, yeah, SMB, I saw that you uh, you mentioned you purchased Code Rush today. That's awesome. Um, I wish ReSharper could figure out their their performance issues. If ReSharper could get running faster again, like it used to, then uh, then I would be all all on board with it. Um, I, I actually really like Code Rush and ReSharper. Um, I think they're all great. Uh, and right, oh, so Ryder has uh, Control RR also, uh, and probably has Control has has F two as well. Uh, but that's one of the things that's nice is uh, I think Ryder's taking a better approach with a lot of that stuff. Um, so we'll see what they end up with though. Whoops, I Twitch stream service. And this is going to be asking for one of those, and when it does, you want to give it the cached one. That's how our startup piece works. Now that should be running, and we should have a working copy. Is the site going? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. So now it was able to work. Fantastic. Uh, so is this just the rename? That should just be the rename. Uh, so we're gonna call that rename I Twitch service to I Twitch stream service. There we go. That'll go in as a commit. And now that we have that changed, let's do this. Um, Uh, the new one is going to be called, uh, it's the iTwitch user service. Uh, we'll call it channel service. Since we call them channels, not users in our system, uh, we'll, we'll match the term channel. Uh, trying to arrange having Mark Miller on Codebase Alpha to teach me how to use it. Uh, s and that is a fantastic idea. I don't know if you know, but uh, Mark was actually on uh, on uh, Dev Chatter a long time ago. I don't know if you remember that, uh, but we had him as a guest on here before uh, before he really started streaming on his own, and uh, uh, he showed me how to use Code Rush as well. Um, and the keyboards on the new Max break with alarming frequency. Half of the devs on my team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Uh, yes, Simon, I absolutely wish I could get all the stuff that ReSharper does while I'm in VS Code. Um, I'm about to give up on this TypeScript Node.js project and just write it in .NET Core. Riley Dom, that's a fantastic idea. Um, the, the, the value proposition in being able to use JavaScript on both the client and the server is not as fantastic as people would make it out to be. Um, not, there's nothing wrong with Node. It's it's perfectly good uh, way of building things. It, it solves the problem, which is what we're all doing all the time anyway. Um, it's just trying to solve problems. Um, get channel info. Uh, for channel name maybe 
Uh, so string channel name. Take in channel name, return back that. Uh, sure. Can this put it in its own file? Yeah. At least you can do that now. All right, that's the one that we want. Um. <laughs> yeah, so .NET Core really scales nicely, so. Uh, so glad that the constant conversation of write same code on client and server has really gone away. Yeah, so the funny thing on that one, Digital Drummer, is that um, there, it's like, if you want to do it, fine. It's cool, um, but it's not a huge selling point. Like, if I want to, if I want to go ahead and write, uh, um, what are they calling? A, uh, I, I don't know if they they reverse the decision on calling it Razor components, and maybe it's back now to Blazor. Um, I'm cool with using Blazor. That's totally fine. If I want to use Blazor on the front end, and and uh, you know whatever we're doing, if I want to use C Sharp for my front end code compiled to WebAssembly and C Sharp in the back end, or compiled down to uh, IL to run on the on the server. Then that's fine, cool. But I mean, it's not it's not necessarily any better than if I were to write it in you know JavaScript on the front end. I mean, that's not a huge. It's uh, you know use use languages you're comfortable with. So if you just want to use JavaScript front end and back end, sure, use Node and uh, JavaScript for the front end, cool. If you want to use C sharp in the back end, fine. You want to use Java in the back end, fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so kind of my stance on that one is, you know, does the language and everything handle it well? Cool. And and you know how to use it and you can use it effectively. Great. Do it that way. <laughs> like win you've got a good setup that's the big thing um i am really looking forward to .NET core 3 uh because there's a bunch of stuff that i want to do in .NET core 3 specifically um i want to be able to do some .NET core uh like wpf apps and things like that because i think that'd be fun uh so i don't want to make any new uh like gui applications in windows because i'm sitting here like but I'm going to be able to .NET Core it soon, so that could be fun. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I really do want to dive into Blazor because I think it's a neat concept. Doesn't mean I necessarily think it's uh, the best way to build all applications, but I think it could be fun. Uh, your clean install VS 2017 F2 does do a rename for variable names, methods, etc. Really? Huh. Well, I don't know then. Maybe you've got a different keyboard setup than I do, uh, Dungeon Smasher. I'm, I'm not sure uh, why mine doesn't do it. Um, Uno will write front end with C sharp and back end with Jan. <laughs> yeah, me, hi. Uh, if someone does, like, node with Blazor, I'm going to probably just freak out on that one. Um, uh, they're renaming. Oh, uh, okay. So Razor Razor Components is changing. Uh, be Razor Components. Razor Pages still exist there, Calvin. Uh, Server side Blazor, or or are they? Wait, what? Um, wait. Uh, actually, hang on. I'm not sure what you mean, Calvin. Um. Uh, it's more. Uh, wait, what? It's more than that. Wait. Uh, Mihai TV. What are you talking about? On the machine F2 is bound to view dot edit label, perhaps. Legacy from older version. Uh, oh, um, it could be Fuel Snable. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to clarify there because I'm like, because I'm using I'm using ASP.NET Core Razor pages, and I don't think they're calling this Blazor. That'd confuse everybody. Uh, so that's that one. Um, is there seriously a build error on that? What's that smoking? No, it's not. Okay. So the Twitch channel service, get channel info, we're gonna have that one, and then let's make a thing that... So this needs to get called by the other piece. Um, you know what? We're gonna leave that sitting there for now. I'm not gonna commit that one just yet. Uh, I think the rename was enough for now. Let's take a look at this code. This code is nasty and needs some cleanup. Uh, this one is not the worst. Um, I kind of want to get a guard clause on this instead of doing this. Um, so maybe we'll do that in the next stream. Um, 
So, to do place with guard claws. Wow, that really, really thinks there's an error there that there isn't. Um, there you go. Yes, that's its own commit. You want to fight me over it? That's its own commit. That's what we get. Uh, so this is the Twitch channel. Did I ever make the table for this? No, wait, hang on, no. No, that's not what I meant to do. Hang on, where? Ooh, man, we got a problem. Uh, I haven't done that yet. Okay, uh, let's check out the migrations. Do I have... Uh, oh, here's Twitch channel table. Okay, there it is. So Twitch channels does get created as a table. Uh, and, and we have it in here. It is not extractable on its own, but it is here. Uh, so we need to fill in that data when we create our new channel. So where's our channel editing page? That's the big thing. Channel editing page. Channel, no, my, my channels. Edit. Put the back end of it. Um, on get a sit, no, uh, no, 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 um, the front end of it, which tells me that its code is here. So we're going to open up this page, and in here I can see, uh, so that's where I grab the channel data, and then I save the channel here which means we call the channels controller we post to it here um, twitch service get used ah this is the one so I in preparation had the twitch service here but it's not the right one uh, this needs to be the I twitch channel service the other Twitch service that we just created uh, because we now need to get the all the channel information from this uh, to be able to save as a channel uh, so um, Whether it is new or old, we still want to do this, I think. Channel info for channel name. We're going to await this. This is going to get us our uh, Twitch channel equals this. And then... We need to do something with it. Do something with this. Uh, this page is currently going to break, so... Um, yeah, that should be a triple equals. Good catch. Why does this still think that's a thing? I got rid of that. Uh, Alright. Uh, Calvin, yes, uh, I, I agree. I think the confusion between Razor components and Razor pages and uh, that sort of thing is probably why they're going with Blazor as the name. Uh, Server-side Blazor uses SignalR to send small rendered components over WebSockets. Cool stuff, Mihai. Uh, I write my front-end and back-end code in F-sharp. Uh, the Fable transpiler is really good. Of course, <laughs> my work, MS Tech is welcome. So I don't use it professionally yet. Uh, Fuel Snail, I do wonder where you work. Uh, that MS Tech is is that unwelcome. Uh, Mihai TV, have a good walk. See you in a bit. Uh, there's also Ooi Ooi, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I do remember that. That was a that was a cool thing. Um, I meant to look into that back uh, when they were talking about uh, uh, that stuff early on. Uh, some more technique is in Blazer. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
iTwitchXX is a pretty funny name. I, the iTwitch stream service? Yeah, I mean, lots of names sound funny when you say them out loud. Welcome to streaming. I have to say a lot of stuff out loud. Occasionally, I say it right, too. Occasionally. All right. Whew. Well, a uh, couple of things I want to mention since we've got people here. First off, uh, be sure to check out our Discord. At Discord, uh, That Discord link uh, in the chat as well as down below the stream is the place to go if you want to chat with me and the other people that are here in Dev Chatter outside of the stream. Uh, there are a lot of us there and it is quite fun. Uh, so questions about programming, things like that. We talk about cool new stuff. So uh, if people did want to talk about things like Blazor uh, or Razor components, uh, you can absolutely talk about that kind of stuff over there. Uh, if you want to talk about SignalR or any of that cool stuff, it is there as well. Um, I mean, I hear it is I as in you, uh, Brendan Twitch. Oh yeah, tw Twitch is in the verb something. Yes, yes, I Twitch. Uh, and then uh, if you want to check out any of our source code, uh, it's over at github.com slash devchatter. And uh, as I mentioned, this is an open source project, so we really have had some people send us some nice pull requests. If you want to be one of them and uh, help us out with the dev streams project. Remember, this is a community site designed to promote live streamers. So if you are doing a live stream, this is in your best interest. Uh, helping this site get off the ground because you'll be able to get your uh, streams information posted out on this site as well. Uh, so go ahead and take a look, try to get it running. If you have questions about it and you're trying to work on it, uh, again, Discord is the place to, to chat with us about it, because uh, there are a handful of us that have this up and running and are able to use it. And um, lastly, um, uh, Wicked Blue Ninja, hey, greetings, welcome. Um, see, other things to mention. Um, click the buttons. Uh, we are hoping to be... Uh, so, I missed, a, I missed some streams recently. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, stop missing streams, uh, but we'll see how things go. Uh, Thursday's stream is up in the air. For anyone that doesn't know, our usual schedule here is Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For a long time, we were very consistent with that, hence how we were able to get to uh, 181 streams over the course of a little, uh, like, what, like 14 months, something like that. So that is uh, quite a lot of streams. Um, I am, uh, whew, uh, going to wrap this one up. Uh, but before you go, I want to click a couple of these buttons here on my stream deck. Uh, first one, I want to roll our credits a little bit. So um, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, yes, and it does get in the way of streaming. Uh, I want to thank our moderators for hanging out today. I know Katrina and SNB were here and Stoolpenner hanging out, helping out with the channel. Uh, always answering questions and greeting everyone. We had uh, some wonderful people that uh, gave us follows today, so thank you for those. And uh, Ed and Riley Dom, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subs. Uh, greatly appreciated. Welcome everyone to the Dev Chatter crew. If you are uh, one of our new Chattasauruses, uh, then uh, yeah, ex as Stool Penner mentions, uh, hype, hype, hype. We are glad to have you here. Uh, it is uh, a fun group, and uh, we might look some more at that Final Fantasy 7 code that I was showing at the beginning of the stream. Uh, so some cool stuff there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do any of that on stream or not. Uh, we, we might. It's a cool, fun project. And uh, I hope to see you all on Monday. Um, so originally Monday's stream was up in the air, but now it's going to be Thursdays that's up in the air instead. So I should see all of you on Monday for an awesome stream. Uh, we're going to be doing some kind of code. I want to do a fun stream sometime soon, like a stream that's just fun, you know, not working on our projects. Uh, not that our, we're working on our projects is fun, but I mean like one that's just straight up fun. Uh, so either way, have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Thank you for hanging out today. Happy coding. Uh, I looked around and I didn't see, uh, no one I follow is currently live, so I don't have a, a great spot that we're, that we're absolutely going to be raiding. Uh, so... Let me see, do we, uh, you know what, I'll check just a little bit further. I will click on the programming thing and see if there's someone who stream that I, I know, but I haven't, uh, I don't like raiding, like, I like to raid people who I know their stream is going to be good, so, because if you all want to just see any random streamer, you could all just go to the programming one and just choose one you want to go to. Uh, when I, when I raid someone, I'm usually saying, hey, you know, this one's good, you want to watch this one. So... Um, I don't see one that I know right now, so 
I guess uh, I guess we will call that there. And uh, as I said, I will see you all on Monday. Take care. Uh, happy coding, and uh, until next time.